Yeah. Uh, how was your meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi as of now? It, it was an outstanding meeting. I, I couldn't have asked for anything more. Um, first, I was an honor to have a chance to speak with him. Uh, clearly, with his leadership and what he's done to create a, a really strong balance between industrial policy as well as trade policy, is makes it an ideal opportunity for companies like First Solar uh, to establish manufacturing in India. Um, and his commitment to ensuring domestic capabilities and ensuring his long-term climate goals and objectives with focus on energy independence and security, uh, I think the, the alignment of what he's trying to accomplish um, couldn't be better for, for companies that are looking to uh, manufacture in India. And I think the enablement of, uh, of an environment that uh, is pro-business is just more, more opportunity for us to be successful and to, to help India achieve its climate goals. Okay. And uh, we have seen that how India is taking a leadership role on a global stage as far as, you know, renewable sources of energy is concerned. How do you look at the policies of India as far as climate change, renewable sources of energy is concerned? I think if every country could embrace and emulate what India has done, our ability to hit the long-term climate goal objectives that are established in the Paris Accord won't be a problem. I think India's leadership uh, as it relates to being um, very aggressive in its commitment towards a renewable energy, 450 gigawatts by the end of this decade, and enabling policies in, in support of that and enabling domestic capability uh, to ensure the most competitively advantaged and lowest cost way to deliver uh, renewable energy into the market are, are, should be replicated across all major markets around the globe. And we've also seen that various measures have been announced in India uh, to boost the renewable sources of energy, the solar equipments primarily. Do you think uh, this will uh, help uh, or attract investment uh, specifically from your side as far as manufacturing capacities are concerned in India? Absolutely. So I think, like, for example, the production linked incentive that has been put in place is, is ideal. And it's, um, you've seen even just with the recent announcements with the number of companies that have applied for that, um, the, the uh, response has been overwhelming. Um, and so I think that type of program uh, is uh, ideal to help U.S. or manufacturers to come to, to India in particular. Um, we're, we're hopeful that we'll be um, successful in receiving an award or a grant through, through the PLI. But as I told the Prime, uh, Prime Minister is that our commitment to India um, and wanting to be part of the journey and the vision that he set out, while the PLI is important, uh, it's not one that we would forego. Uh, we we want to be part of this opportunity and be part of this journey. Also, India has uh, started this initiative called the International Solar Alliance, uh, where various uh, big countries are coming and becoming the part of this solar alliance. Do you think this International Solar Alliance will complement your investment plans, in, uh, not only in India, but various other countries as well? Absolutely so, yes. And it will help us think through opportunities. One of the things we want to do in India is not only to be there to support the domestic market, but we want to be a technology leader in leveraging capabilities that India can provide, and then also compete on a global platform and to participate in export into international markets. That type of alliance and opportunity further enhances that potential. Thank you so much for talking to us. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah,